to your authorization code. Calling Crystal Zahedner. Hello? Hello, Crystal? Yes. Uh, my name is Detective Chris Wagner, and I'm with the Carver County Sheriff's Office in Chaska, Chanhassen, Minnesota. Yeah, hi. Hi. I got your information um, that you were once an assistant with Kieran Sharma and Prince um, mm -hmm. many, many years ago, I guess. And yeah. I am uh, assisting in the investigation into Prince's death, and I was wondering if you had time to talk to me about anything that you may have seen or anything of, that, that might be pertinent for our investigation. Absolutely. Oh, cool. great. Okay. I appreciate your time. Um, yeah, I know, of course. <laughs> uh, in, and, uh, is your last name still Zehetner? Is, uh, did I pronounce yes. that right? Yes, Z-E-H-E-T-N-E-R, Zehetner. And, um, okay, what, I guess let's start out. When did you work for them? Or I, I guess I understand okay. you were a chef first. Or you, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I, was, I worked, um, I started with friends. I believe it was 2000, oh, God, sorry. I think it was 2010, okay. I want to say. Okay. Um, off and on, I was his chef. Karen had hired me to come on as his chef. And then um, I worked, I did that um, on and off for about a year, uh, traveled with him, so on and so forth. And then I had sold my business and I worked for him um, as the business affairs manager with him and Karen. Um, Sharma and Julia Ramadan. Okay. Um, and I'm sorry, what was your title? Business? A business Affairs. Affairs. Okay. And what did you actually do with that then? Um, so I ran, um, so basically I was, I worked with both Kimberly and, and Julia and I um, ran all things business related in terms of um, working with the business manager to manage properties, bank accounts, um, tours, um, uh, anything related to his personal or business life, pretty much. So did you work with Deborah Johnson too then? I did, yes. Okay. I worked with Deborah as well. Okay. Actually, I actually hired Deborah. Okay. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I'm just kind of writing notes as I no, you're fine. talk into you. <laughs> so, um, this is a, a nice little break. I'm in Oscar week right now, so it's, it's. I mean, this is not a nice break, clear, clearly. But I'm happy to do this for Prince. So, okay. what does that mean? Os what does Oscar week mean for you? Oh, I'm. I work for. I work for a. Um, I'm the uh, director of operations for a production company. So oh. our movie. Yeah, um, we make movies. You, oh, yeah. You're helping with movies, making movies. Yeah, we make movies. Okay. We make movies. So okay. We pretty, yeah, yeah, we make movies. <laughs> okay, a different different world than being in law enforcement. Oh, I left. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so well, maybe you may, you manage you, you control people, make sure that people do what they're supposed to do. Yeah, <laughs> That's I guess. pretty much what my job is. <laughs> <laughs> well, so you're kind of into um, abide by the rules. Yes. There, there you go. <laughs> so, uh, how long do you think you worked for him, Crystal? Then. Um, so I worked for him, um, I want to say I left in um, 2000, I don't know if my son born, my son was born in 2013. I think I left in, in 2012, but I still worked for him um, doing stuff. I, I was no longer on, I guess, payroll, and I worked with doing the consulting stuff for him up until, I'd say, um, maybe two years ago. A year? Let's see, he died a year ago, almost a year ago. So, yeah, about two years ago. So, 2015, maybe? Yes, yeah, around 2015. And when, what do you mean by consulting? Like, what kind of stuff would you do? So, I would still do, so he did, um, for instance, he was working on um, a project with Van Jones um, uh, at Essence Festival. So, I came in as a consultant, um, and I worked, I helped on the project that he did at Essence Festival. So. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, Crystal, I forgot. Can I get your date of birth for our records? Yes, absolutely. It's 2483. Um, and an address for you? 
Of course, it's 5106. Okay. Ba- Bascule, B as in boy, A-S-C-U-L-E Avenue. Okay. And that's Wood- Woodland Hills. Two words, Woodland Hills. California, 91364. 91634. Uh, 91364. 91364. Okay. Perfect. Um, so during that time, um, and did you ever know about Prince having any kind of problems with pain or uh, substance abuse? Yes. Okay. What do you remember from that? Um, I knew that he, um, had hurt his hip, um, and that he had been taking pain medication for his hip, um, and there was a time, and I'll just be honest with you, the reason why I left was because of it. So, there was a time where he had, um, doctors that he would call, um, to get whatever pain meds that he wanted, um, and um, he would use us, you know, to help him get the doctor there and tell us, you know, it was this or it was that, and and so we'd have doctors come out, and then he would we would have to leave the room um, while he was with the doctor by himself. And um, I noticed towards the end of my time with him that he had um, a lot of really awful, like, mood swings. And um, because there was a time I know he stopped taking pills, he wasn't drinking, he was, you know, sober, and and then um, he ended up doing it again, and and I just didn't want to be a part of it. So um, so I left him. Okay, so when you're saying he would kind of ask you to facilitate getting doctors to come in? Or- yeah, he would never, yes, but he would never tell me why. Uh, but he would say, oh, he needs, you know, his hip was hurting or um, he needed a B12 shot. He would never directly ask me, you know, to get him pills or something like that. Okay. He'd never ask me to do that, yeah. That was my question. But I, but I knew. No, no, no. But I knew what it was for. But I knew it. I knew it. And was that always here in Chanhassen or Minnesota here? Um, It was wherever he was. Wherever we were on tour or... Um, in LA, um, it didn't matter. Um, do you remember any of those doctors by chance? Um, I still have them in my phone. So let's see. Um, oh, you know what? Let me check my. Hey, well, Crystal, if you, I mean, I can give you my number, uh, and you yeah, can always yeah. get back to me too. I guess. Um. I'm sure you've kind of followed the news and things that had kind of come out over the last year, but um, with him being a celebrity, you know, sometimes it's difficult to try to get information from, um, I, I'm try, what I'm trying to do is find other doctors that may have given him stuff or had, um, okay. yeah, helped hel- helps give him stuff that maybe he wasn't prescribed. Right, right. <clears throat> um, but do you, is it now? Do you want me to give you my number right now? Yes. Okay. It's, it's Detective Chris Wagner, and it's Chris with a C. Wagner's W A G N E R, and my direct number is nine five two three six one eighteen seventy five. Okay. And I don't I, I don't know if you want an email uh, address for me. Yes. Um, it's C Wagner, uh, W A G N E R, at C O dot carver dot mn dot us okay so yeah if you would have any of that information or any of these doctors that may have um, helped him in the past whether you knew what it was for or not that I can I can look into that or you know what I mean if it's okay. if you didn't know if it was for what it was, and he just said, oh, can you contact this doctor? I can right, right, right. look into that doctor from that, this point, you know? Um, okay. And so okay. when you said that was part of the reason why you left, what what does that mean? That because of his mood because things I, or something else? Well, because I knew he had a substance abuse problem, okay. and 
I had, and I mentioned it to, um, I'm just going to be honest with you. No, I appreciate all of the people that you want, all the people you want to talk to are all the, the people that have never done an interview because those are the people that know, friends, the people that know the truth, you know, and, um, and want the, you know, you can't stop people from doing what they're going to do. That I know. We've, we tried, you know, um, yeah. but I do know that, that there are people that just didn't tell him no, and that's why he died, you know? And so um, I had a conversation when I left him with Phaedra Ellis, and I said to her um, that I was not going to be his drug dealer, and that's why I'm not working for him anymore. And so people knew that this was going on, um, and everyone, you know, did their best to, to protect him. And, you know, if he asked us to call doctors, we would say they weren't available or so on and so forth. Um, but if they tell you that they didn't know, it was just a lie. Okay. It's not the truth. So you're saying Phaedra definitely knew? Yeah, I told her. She told, And then when, when he died, she said to me, well, I didn't know exactly what you meant until now. And I'm like, but you, I mean, it, it, at the end of the day, you can't, you couldn't, you couldn't not know. Like you were, I mean, if you're that working that closely with him, um, and I'm not blaming, honestly, not blaming her. It's, like I said, he was a grown man. Um, but for people to say that they didn't know that this was happening, I just don't believe it. Okay. I just don't. Did you so. see things um, other than him asking for doctor's signs? I mean, like what kind of stuff? Did you see other than him wanting to meet with doctors? I mean, what other signs were there? Um, you know, he was always, like, um, up all night. Um, he would, would, you know, lose a lot of weight. And, um, like I said, the mood swings. Um, he was just, just not happy, just not in a good place. Okay. Um, he was in a lot of pain. That I knew. Um, he was definitely in a lot of pain. Okay. Did he ever talk about not being able to perform anymore because of the pain he was in? No. Okay. Um, and so when you told Fed Phaedra that you weren't going to be his drug dealer, can, do you remember that yeah. conversation at all? Or Yeah, she asked me why, why I quit. Um, why I left him because she was going to be start, she was going to start working for him um, and I just said that I I didn't want to be a drug dealer and that I, I killed around too much okay so and are you friends with Phaedra then? yeah I know her I'm okay, with her. okay. <laughs> yeah. um, and you can can you said all the people that aren't talking knew so I'm saying everybody knew, but I'm saying that people, if they're saying that they didn't know, I, oh. I wouldn't believe them. Oh, okay. I see. I understand. Thank yeah. you <laughs> for clarifying that. So, um, all right. So that was back in 2012, you think, about then? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So when I, I, yeah, when I left, I, I had that conversation with her. Okay. Um. Is there anything else, Crystal, that you think might be important for me to know about? Um, I mean, were there any things that, that he, like packages or anything suspicious that would come in? Or or do you have any idea where he was getting his drugs other than doctors? No. I mean, honestly, he had, um, we were pretty good about, like I said, kind of protecting him while I was there, the team that we had while I was there. Um, we, I mean, we knew everything. Every dollar that was spent was accounted for. Like it was, it was. I mean, if he had asked someone to go and get it, it would have been him on his own. We wouldn't have known, you know, who he was calling to ask you, for it. Um, I'm sorry, you would have known, it, or he would have just gone. No, no, no. He would have. He would have called someone directly. Other than doctors, that was the only. That was, there, those were the only people that I knew that would have given him anything. Okay. What about Kirk Johnson? Um, <laughs> um, friends have known Kirk for a long time. 
and that was one of his closest and oldest friends. Okay. So, um, I don't know. I've never saw Kirk, though, get anything or him, you know, bring me into that. I don't know. But, but it, would Kirk Johnson know about him being addicted to pain pills? Oh, of course. Okay. Of course he would. Yeah. And any conversation that you ever had with Kirk about it before or anything? No, because Kirk, as I was leaving, um, Kirk kind of came back into the fold. Okay. Um, so I, you know, he wasn't really a part of the team. Um, he just kind of took over, was taking over things as I was leaving. So we never had, you know, contact about any of the personal stuff uh, with friends. It was more business stuff, business related, um, okay. until I left. But Kirk did, he called, Kirk called me the day before he died and said, um, we don't know what to do. He, he said that he wants to go get help. And, um, he, um, he's having a lot of issues and Kirk said to me, I didn't know that he had an issue. And I said, well, I don't, I don't believe that. But I said, I will help you find a place for him to go. And I said, the most important thing is to get him out of the house because he'll die. And the next day he died. Okay. So I called one of our business managers um, and asked them to help me find a facility to put him in. Um, but I told them to send him to Turks and Caicos um, because I knew in Turks and Caicos he would be protected. There was nobody there that would, you know, say anything and, and he would be fine. Um but they did, yeah, they called me the day before he died. So. Did you um, talk to Kirk at all after uh, the plane, the the plane going down in Moline? Did you talk to Kirk? I mean, did you talk to him on a regular basis, or was this something that he just? No, I hadn't. I hadn't heard from them um, in months. Um, so. No. Okay. So that was kind of a random call the day before. He called me out of the blue the okay. day before, yeah. All right. Um, <clears throat> anything else you can think of, Crystal, that might be important for us to know or anybody that you think um, we should talk to? You? Probably Julia Ramadan. Um, she... Um, yeah, she would be a good person to speak with about this. When you would, would you email Prince or call him directly? Or, or both. both? Both. And mm -hmm. would you call um, Paisley Park then? Paisley Park, yes. Okay. And when the email, would you use the, the J. Ramadan email address or something different? Um, I'm sorry, can you say that one more time? Did you use... Uh, the Ramadan, the J Ramadan email? The JR, the JR email, yes. Yep. The JR email. Okay. I just wanted to see if it was something or something different, but that was the email when you would communicate with him. That's what he would do. Yes. Okay. That's the one, yeah, Julia, Julia made that, created that email for him. So. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm, there, so there's nothing that's specific. You're going to see if you can find any of those past doctors information yeah. get back to me that would be wonderful if you could do that okay. or if you could think of anybody that um you know that he had had contact with anything about packages going to country and suites did they do that when you working were working here i mean yeah he'd always have packages but i never opened them um um he definitely had packages delivered all the time there. Okay. We were all, either we, when we were gone or when we, um, yes, he was. You know, okay, was but his. nothing that he would ever be ordering anything or um, mm. nothing suspicious. I mean, just your. No, 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 not, no, 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 nothing that I would, I would have, no. Okay. Like I said, the only, the only way I thought he was getting pills was, was through doctors. I never assumed he was getting them for, through anyone else. But, I mean, Prince was. She see different lives, you know. So there were things that clearly I didn't know, right? You know, um, that were or people that I didn't know um, that were involved in his life that I just had no idea. So, um, have you heard of the name Stacy Littlejohn? Stacy Littlejohn. 
I don't think so. Okay. Um, how about Renville Wellington? Yes. How do you know Renville? Um, we met Renville in Canada, I believe. He was hired to do security. Okay. Okay. Um, do you, have you had any contact with him recently, or did you just meet him no. at a conference? No, no, no. We met him. We met him. I don't remember how we met him. I think he was hired through the. Um, yes, I believe he was hired through Live Nation or Settlement the Facility or something like that um, when we were in Canada, and then. Um, when Prince needed him, he would call him directly, or you know, um, or I would, you know, we would email him like if we needed him to come out and do security stuff. But Prince had his own relationship with him. Okay, so, so from what you understood, it was he was a security. He was security. Security. Yeah. Okay. Any other security guards that you can remember other than Renville, so, uh, Kirk, um, um, Romeo, probably Chris. Romeo. Mhm. Mhm. Any other ones that you stand out while you were working? Um, I think. No, I mean, because he didn't really have... Only when we went out of town, we would have security that... Like I said, Romeo kind of came around when I, towards the end when I was leaving. Renville, I only dealt with him when we were in Canada. But like I said, when friends would go different places, he would call Renville and have him come out. But he did that on his own. Okay. Um, um, I never really had contact with any of the security, like I said, unless it was um, directly through the venue setting something up for him. Okay. Okay. Well, um, I guess if there's anything that you can think of, Crystal, after we hang up the phone that you think might be important for us just to know about his past or anything um and, of course, if you find that information on the doctors, please let me know or yeah. give me a call back or, um, like I said, anything that you think that um, would be helpful, that would be very much appreciated. I just, I mean, my, my only thing is that I, I guess that at the end of the day, I know that he was grown up, that Prince was, he, he didn't deserve it. He didn't deserve to die like that, and I just... I don't know. I just I feel like there's just 